Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube, and I'm here just to have this Friday conversation with you, uh, especially those in Zimbabwe and those around Zimbabwe, those from Zimbabwe who are interested uh, in the goings on as we go to the elections, which you would know have been slated for the 23rd of August this year. And uh, I'm particularly interested in those who have been asking if uh, elections are indeed the only way that Zimbabweans can change their government, that Zimbabweans can rebuild their country, because we, it's been a generally agreed uh, theory that the only way that Zimbabwe can be rebuilt, that the only way that uh, Zimbabweans can return home from the diaspora to leave home is uh, only through a change of government or if there has been a change of government. But there have also been some contesting views, uh, viewpoints uh, opposed to that particular view that uh, it is possible to change a government through elections in Zimbabwe. And now uh, the other argument is that some people believe that the people at home uh, do not believe in elections as uh, a possible way of changing a government. So this is what we have and we are armed here with a survey from the Afro Barometer uh, concerning the coming elections and this survey was done in April. Uh, it was actually dispatched uh, on the 11th of April 2023. It's carried in their dispatch. Uh, there's quite some interesting uh, findings by this uh, summary. And it says that Zimbabweans support multi-party competition uh, and they say policy preferences inform their voter decisions. Uh, besides the contestation of elections as opposed to some other form of change, uh, there have also been uh, contestations of whether Zimbabweans vote based on party affiliation, on cultism, or uh, on policies that are presented by parties because the argument is that Zimbabweans usually do not read uh, manifestos, they do not listen to what uh, candidates bring forth, they only vote based on party lines. And this has uh, been the, the trend, especially during the a two-party system that we have had since 1980. You remember that in 1980 it was a contest between ZANU and the Patriotic Front. In 1985 it was a contest between ZANU, PF and uh, ZAPU. Then after that there was a, a lack of strong opposition until 2000 when again we went back to the uh, bipolar political setup where it was the MTC versus ZANU, PF. And now as we go to 2023, uh, in 2018, it was MTC Alliance against ZANU-PF. Right now, we go to the 2023 elections with ZANU-PF versus Triple C. Uh, and the, the general argument out there is that people just follow parties without listening to what they have. But this survey belies that. It says that Zimbabweans support multi-party competition. And they say that policy preferences inform uh, voter decisions. Um, there are a few points that I wanted to note, which are among the key findings of this uh, afro Barometer survey. Uh, they say 95% confidence uh, level. Uh, previous standard surveys were conducted in Zimbabwe in 1999, 2004, 2005, 2009, 2012, 2014, 2017, and 2021. The key findings are that most Zimbabweans, which are at the 78% of those polled, support elections as the best way to choose leaders. So it is not uh, a proven fact that Zimbabweans would do not go to elections or that voter apathy is influenced by the belief that uh, elections cannot change a government, by the belief that uh, there should be other means employed to change a government. Uh, a similarly clear majority, 73%, say 
says Zimbabwe needs many political parties to ensure that voters have a real choice. So, despite the claims that uh, the mushrooming of several parties uh, actually splits votes of the opposition, it is the general view of Zimbabwe that they need a multi-party system more than these uh, two parties that have always been there. But, uh, as we have said, or as the survey has found out, the lack of uh, maybe a third way, fourth way, fifth way is based on perhaps the lack of clear policies by these other parties, which means that we have a two-party system based on the fact that these two parties maybe uh, are the ones that speak to the needs of Zimbabweans. That's me, anyway. Uh, majorities think their elections work well to enable voters to remove leaders who don't do what the people want, that is 59%, and to ensure that members of parliament reflect voters' views, 53%. The other finding is that uh, more than 8 in 10 citizens, that is 81%, say that once an election is over, the losing side should accept defeat and cooperate with the government to help it develop the country rather than focus on holding it accountable. Um, I think we have always said that uh, Zimbabweans need to find each other and they need to work together. But the problem is that we have always been um, in electionary mode, even after the elections were found, we have seen parties going to, uh, to the courts. Just 2018, we had a party going to court. Previously, again, we have had parties that lose the election, uh, refusing to accept defeat, coming out with these wild claims that elections have been rigged. Uh, they come up with a number of things. They even, some of them have even been seen advocating for sanctions against the country. And this Zimbabwe seem to stand against. Uh, the other findings that fewer than half, which is 44% of Zimbabwe say that their 2018 election was largely free and fair. One in three that is 33% say they feared intimidation or violence somewhat or a lot during the campaign. So this is a worrying factor because if fewer than 44%, I mean if 44% of Zimbabweans say 2018 was largely free and fair, this means that the election didn't have a clear uh, seal of approval from the people. There is very low a confidence in the election that was held or in the process in which the election was held. And we have 33% saying they feared intimidation uh, or violence. So this is a worrying factor. We have here 77% voicing their concern. Where is the 23%? More than 7 in 10 citizens, that is 72%, say they feel somewhat free or completely free to vote for the candidates of their choice without feeling pressured. And three-fourths, that is 76%, consider it unlikely that powerful people can find out how they vote. So this now belies uh, the claims that uh, there are people who vote otherwise of their choices because of fear that they may be found, found out that they voted somebody else uh, or that they voted someone uh, during the elections and they should be written they could be retribution but fewer than half 47 percent say they trust the zimbabwe electoral commission somewhat or a lot this again uh, is an indictment to the zimbabwe electoral commission as a commission that should be independent and professional if 47 percent of the people say they trust the commission, I mean, they trust the commission, it means there is a 53% uh, which does not trust the commission, and this calls for uh, more independence and more professionalism in as far as the commission is, uh, is concerned, including the constitution of the members of the commission. Two-thirds, 67% of Zimbabweans say they will definitely vote in the upcoming general election, in addition to 19% who say they will probably cast their ballots. This takes us to 
excluding those who plan not to vote, a resounding majority, 83% say they will vote for candidates whose policies they agree with rather than for candidates who give them gifts or belong to the same ethnic or religious group. This is quite interesting. Uh, we have had complaints uh, of vote rigging. We have had complaints of uh, food being used to buy votes. We have had complaints uh, of people just voting uh, in partisan lines or voting uh, on tribal lines. But here people are saying that uh, in the majority they say that they will vote for candidates whose policies they agree with, which means that they are going to consider the policies that are brought forward to them or the manifestos that are provided or launched rather than for candidates who give them gifts. So you can give me your gift, but at the end of the day you should have a, a policy which resonates with my needs for me in order for me to vote for you. This is interesting. Or belong to the same ethnic group or religious group. So it's not about religion, it's not about ethnicity. It is about what you promise me as a voter. But more than half, and that is 54%, also say they will vote for candidates from their own province. 8 in 10 Zimbabweans, that is 78%, endorse elections as the best method of choosing leaders. While one-fifth, that is 21%, say other methods for choosing the country's leaders should be adopted. Support for elections is high across the key demographic groups. It is particularly high among the most educated respondents at 85% and the middle aged at 84%. Similarly, most Zimbabweans believe in multi-party competition. Almost three in four citizens, that is 73%, say many political parties are needed to ensure that voters have real choices in who governs them while only one quarter, 25% instead believe that political parties create division and the country would be better off not having many of them. Support for multi-party competition increased by 12 percent points since 2017 to 61%. The position is more common among urban than rural residents, 81% versus 68%, and among the middle aged, 81% of those aged 36 to 55 years than among older, which are 65% and younger, 69% respondents. Support for multi-party competition also increases with respondents' education level, ranging from 66% of those with primary schooling or less to 79% of those with post-secondary qualification, but to economically better of citizens, 63% are less likely to agree than those experiencing moderate, 74% or high per eight or eighty one percent lived poverty. So this shows that as much as um, the more literacy levels increases, the more political understanding increases, the more uh, embracing. Also, this is quite an interesting survey. It is available. We will put. Uh, it's available on PTF. We're going to put a link underneath this video. Let's continue to engage around this, but the good thing is that Zimbabweans still believe in elections as a way of resolving the issues that are, uh, are there back home. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.